Paperback Show on Eagle 1023, WLAG 96.9 FM, 1240 AM, and online at eagle1023.com. Let's go live to the showroom, Kiev LaGrange, to give you the inside scoop on Lafayette Christian football. Welcome to Lafayette Christian uh, Football here on Saturday Morning Quarterback. I'm Coleman Vice, and uh, Coach Payne is here with me. And, uh, and of course, uh, Nate Shaw, the head coach of uh, uh, Lafayette Christian, who's usually with us on uh, Saturday, uh, had an opportunity, and uh, he took it. So, uh, so uh, Coach, you, you get me uh, uh, here uh, to have a chance to talk about a, a tough loss uh, against uh, uh, Colonial Hills. Uh, it was 46-27. But uh, I know that uh, you still got two more games to go here in the regular season, and uh, one game does not to wrap up the season. Y'all still got some more fight to go. Yeah, actually, we um, the way the regions lined up this year, uh, we have two more two more games. Even if we don't win out, we we have to win our final game against a uh, a region opponent, and it makes us eligible for the playoffs. And it's kind of it's kind of odd when you look at this, the way the season's gone to possibly limp into the playoffs, but you're still in. Yep. And so you have to take the opportunity to improve and um, just move forward, and well, that's what we're trying to do. I mean, right now y'all have got uh, four losses and two wins. You, you could, could get a 50-50 deal going if you can win, win the next two games, so, uh, uh, which is uh, not awesome. But it's, yeah. uh, uh, considering some of the injuries y'all have had and other things y'all have had this season, uh, would be a, a good, uh, good wrap-up to the season. And, and, uh, and I know, uh, uh, let's just go ahead and start with Colonial Hills. I know it was a tough loss, 46-27. But uh, I, I think uh, uh, the game kind of started like, uh, like you'd want, and then, then it kind of started heading in a different direction. Yeah, we, uh, we have had a problem historically this year starting slow. And so we opened up last night with about a 70-yard kickoff return for a touchdown by Nick Spittler. Um, Lots of good momentum, lots of, uh, lots of good uh, chunks of yardage eating up on the next drive. And um, we, would get, we would get down to where Jacob Lucan's running the ball good, Nick Spittler's running the ball good, Landon at Whitley at quarterback's doing everything he needs to do. And we uh, bogged down pretty deep in opponent's territory um, and had a setback, which we weren't able to capitalize on. It didn't really set the tone for the game, but it's those little things that start building up and you get this kind of avalanche of things happening that go against you. You try to fight back, and our guys did an admirable job of not quitting, but we could not capitalize on some of the uh, opportunities that we had. Yeah, it's uh, it, it does make it uh, rough, and uh, and 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 plus they kind of got a lead, you know. I guess uh, I guess in the second quarter, and uh, and and uh, and once they got that that rolling a little bit, you're you're constantly trying to run uphill and uh, and get back in the ball game. Uh, and uh, and what what do you say to your players to keep keep their heads and keep them keep them continuing to uh, dig? Well, we we've talked to them a lot this year about not just setting goals but doing small things right. Uh, we kind of take a page out of Alabama's playbook. What what little things can you control that you can do? Because you're not always going to get the calls you want. You're not always going to get the fumbles to bounce the way you need them to. But are you playing your technique? Are you doing what the coaches tell you to? And when a when you have a challenge, how do you respond? Um, because as much you know, as much as we try to coach them to be winning football players, we also want them to approach it like a man would approach it uh, to rise to the challenge. And uh, to their credit, they've responded actually really well. We haven't had any quitters, right? So we've been we've been pleased with that. It's just getting the results to back up the effort. Well, and and of course, uh, sometimes uh, uh, I, I you know it, it's you know I. I done certain things that th- have been really hard that didn't turn out all the way I wanted it to but I remember them so much better than all the ones that went so easily and uh, and this these are the kind of years and and uh, and the fight and the work and the effort that you'll look back on and, and you'll remember them because they were were so hard yeah um one of the things that I've been driving home with the boys I, I don't do a lot as much of the play calling now uh I contribute to the game plan and everything but really working with the boys is like you know, some of these days you you wake up in the morning, you're not exactly where you want to be, whether it's school, whether it's job, and you still got to put your boots on and perform. Uh, you have somebody depending on you, whether it's family, uh, whether it's coworkers, and it, when you don't get the results that you're looking for, are you still going to strap up and do what, what you're supposed to do? And uh, again, it's with the frustration that we've seen coming off a of state championship last year and then struggling to get to 500 this year, have these have these boys learned from that? And I think a lot of them have. Yeah. 
Yeah, it, it is. Uh, I imagine uh, from from the team, the school, and and the coaches. Uh, you know, you, you've gone from from a super high last year to to not a bad season, but but not not seeing the same same results as last year. And you're going, okay, now you know you got to understand. You you want to get to that high level. You know it. It takes continual work and having all the pieces come together. And sometimes it's not going to be there, but you've got to prepare for that to come back around. And uh, and so uh, so some of the seniors that are here this year are getting those underclassmen ready to have another run uh, the next year. And it and it's and it's important to get show them uh, what what it put the same effort that they put in last year into this year. Yeah, um, and we, we have had that contribution from, from some underclassmen that are learning. Uh, Nathan Fain has stepped in, uh, and I, I know his family. I'm friends with Nathan from, from our community and from our church, and uh, he was just expecting to play some mop-up duty at backup quarterback, and we've had to teach him two positions on defense, and he starts, he kicks. Um, Nathan Hudson, who is – maybe 120 pounds soaking wet, and, and he has just thrown his body out there and gotten beat to death playing O-line and D-line, and every time he pops up and he's ready for more. And you look at guys like that and say – and you and you can tell them, okay, the, the results aren't there this year, but wait till your body catches up. Wait till your learning of the game catches up, and when you get on the field next year, you're going to look and say, this doesn't surprise me anymore. Right. So we've been really proud of the, the contribution from some of these underclassmen and some of our new contributors um, – who've never played before. So. All right, we're going to come back and talk some more. Uh, once again, uh, Lafayette Christian had, had a heartbreaker uh, uh, Friday night as they lost 46-27 to, to uh, Colonial Hills. But uh, time to dust the uh, uh, dirt off the pants and uh, get back up and uh, get ready to go after it again as Central Fellowship comes uh, up uh, this Friday and uh, a road trip. We'll talk about that uh, and much more as you're listening to Saturday Morning Quarterback uh, Lafayette Christian Cougar edition, and uh, we're here live at Kia of LaGrange Showroom. Come out here and uh, have a chance to see some of these beautiful Kias and uh, pick one out and, uh, and let's make your driveway look so much better with a new Kia in, uh, in your driveway. Come see us out here on Lafayette Parkway. Also got Chick-fil-A biscuits here, and uh, we'd love to see you here. It's Eagle 1023, and you're listening to Saturday Morning Quarterback on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times, which means the 16s, they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyofthegrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Start number 19215. Deciding to sell or buy a home is a big step. To make sure it's a step in the right direction, choose the person best qualified to handle your real estate needs. Joel and Rob Upchurch have been breaking sales records every year since 1997. They truly are the real estate leaders in West Georgia. So take a step in the right direction. Contact Joel or Rob Upchurch at REMAX Results because they are dedicated to results and converting transactions into relationships. There's a secret to beating injuries or ailments. Get the right team. Emory Southern Orthopedics, well-trained, experienced doctors, nurses, and staff are that team. These teammates listen and understand your specific condition and provide high-quality hometown care that will get you back into your game. For more information about Emory Southern Orthopedics team, visit www.southernorthopedics.com. All right, welcome back here as we're live at uh, the uh, showroom of Kia of LaGrange uh, talking Lafayette Christian Cougar football as uh, we're having a chance to uh, reflect uh, one at uh, Colonial Hills as uh, unfortunately uh, Lafayette Christian lost to them Friday night 46 to 27 but uh, coming up uh, uh, still got two more games left here in the season uh, Central Fe Fellowship which is next week uh, and uh, where is uh, Central Fe uh, Fellowship located? That is a great okay. question. Well, there you go. Well, I get, yeah, we've have we have a few Christians, uh, we have a few Centrals, and we have a few Harvesters, and we have a few Heritages. So I'm yeah, not well, sure well, which well, one we is. will get that uh, address for everybody here shortly. <laughs> but uh, it, no, it's all right. And uh, and uh, but it is a road trip, and yeah. uh, and uh, we'll let you know uh, how big that is. But uh, uh, you know, honestly, you you sit there, and and uh, when when you're getting ready to go, 
it doesn't really matter what direction you're heading in the bus. You've got to get uh, uh, make sure all the, the gear gets loaded up, everybody gets their uh, uh, get a plan to make sure that everything is where you need to be, so that when you get going, uh, everything happens in, a, in in the frame that it has to, so that when you get to the game time, it's all ready to go. And I, I imagine that uh, uh, getting in those patterns are kind of one kind of aggravating sometimes, but two comforting for the players. Uh, yeah, actually, we've we had a lot more success on the road last year. We've had a little. We felt a little better about how we've performed this year on the road because. You're packing up. You're getting everything is game, game, game. You have to, you have to be focused. You have to do what you're supposed to do, and the routine sets itself in um, really a little bit better. Uh, you get a little more downtime when you're at home, and you get to go to Waffle House and grab something to eat because you need to eat before the game. Um, and I think the coaches, uh, Coach Shaw and, and uh, Nearing and Quiggle, have done a good job of that. Is is kind of being a little more systematic on the road and getting these guys into habits that help them focus on. there you go talking with coach Payne here from uh, lafayette christian uh, G- coach nate shaw who's usually with us is uh, off on assignment today and uh, and of course you're listening to saturday morning quarterback uh you know with uh with central fellowship as uh, uh having a chance to to go against them i, I know the fans uh, that's one thing that uh, uh getting everybody to travel and and get up there and and the boys getting to hear all the uh, screaming, hollering fans. I mean, that's that's uh, that's a big part of it to uh, to bring in that atmosphere, and that's something that uh, you really need to see. Well, and to our to our credit, to their credit, our fans actually travel really well. We've gone a couple places where we've outnumbered the home team, yeah. um, and, and and we've talked about this is this is small ball, and for some for some schools, it kind of takes a while for it to catch on. So. Uh, and and describe well, of course you say small ball it's it, it's it's a uh, uh, because because you're playing a smaller roster which is basically yeah. what uh, which I mean let, and and while while we're doing it we we try to do this for people who who might not have seen uh, let's 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 describe what uh, uh, what type of football we're talking about oh okay okay we're eight man football so if you take an eleven man uh, look and take on the offensive line you take away the two tackles. Uh, and, and basically a receiver. And on the defensive line, you take away a tackle, a linebacker, and a defensive back. So you you run the same schemes and the same principles, and, and it's it's actually interesting. We've played. We've got a kid now that plays at UT Chattanooga. Um, he's a redshirt freshman, and he is playing 11-man football. So the schemes actually translate directly. You have to be sounding your gaps on defense. You have to block. You have to tackle. Technique's the same. You've got uh, 40 extra yards to go. Um, North and south, and then you got about uh, I think uh, twenty extra yards to go east and west on the football field. So it's the same principle. You're just missing about three players on each side. Right. And so what we look at is we run our defense runs basically a four three. If it was an eleven man football, you'd see a standard four three NFL defense. There you go. And uh, and of course uh, that makes a lot of fun. It usually make means for a lot of scoring. And uh, and uh, and defense is is a premium if you've got defense. Oh my gosh, you 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 got a shot at winning winning the whole thing, and and uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, it's a lot of fun to watch if you love offense. It is a lot of fun to watch, uh, and a lot of times you can see scores. Um, the the Crisp Academy that was forty two to thirty three, even this one which was forty six to twenty seven. The way scores come in eight man football when you when you uh, narrow the field and you take away those men, it kind of comes like it does in arena football. You can score twenty four points in three minutes between two teams. And so some of these losses where there's uh, big numbers given up, a lot of that is two or three quick scores at the end of the half, and then all of a sudden it's a three-touchdown deficit instead of what through the game is consistently one touchdown. We were in the Colonial Hills game last night until really the last five or six minutes of the game. Yeah. And what happens is you get one score, a drive bust, you get another quick score, and then all of a sudden you're down 14 points. So it – Defense is at a premium, and we've actually had a a productive defense this year, and obviously had a really good defense last year, and so um, that definitely changes the dynamic from what we're used to seeing on Saturday afternoons, especially. There you go, and uh, folks, if you want more information about Lafayette Christian uh, football, the school, uh, or anything else, uh, go to their website at Lafayette Christian. Uh, they, uh, they they love for you to come by and do a tour, have a chance to visit the facility, uh, have a chance to meet the coaches. Uh, and because uh, uh, from what I understand, y'all y'all would love to have some more football players. 
Yeah, we would. Um, and there's opportunities. Uh, but the, our league allows AES students, which are homeschool students, to participate in um, in our football program. Obviously, there's opportunities for our, our, our boys at school to come out and contribute. And, and one of my goals and one of Coach Shaw's goals is to, to – not only show people this, but to realize the fact that eight-man football, you can you can reasonably turn that into an opportunity to play at the next level. Yep. Just do the work and learn the skill, yep. and, and you can move on. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll come back and talk some more Lafayette Christian football uh, as we're live here on the showroom of Kia of LaGrange uh, and talking with Coach Payne. And I want you to come on back and uh, join us for some Chick-fil-A biscuits and, uh, and, uh, and also uh, maybe find yourself a new Kia right here at Kia of LaGrange, Lafayette Parkway in LaGrange, and you're listening to Saturday Morning Quarterback on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going on pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for a Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times with me in the 16s. They got to go to make room for the 17s. We own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Stock number 19215. Good food. Where do you find it? Because when you spend your hard-earned money, you want good food. So the place you'll find that good food is at Rogers Barbecue on New Franklin Road in LaGrange, where they only serve American-grown catfish, barbecue cooked to perfection, and with all the fixings to make it worth every penny. Rogers Barbecue is locally owned and run with care since 1945. Come eat with us Monday through Saturday from 11 to 9, or use our carry-out window. Rogers Barbecue, New Franklin Road, LaGrange. Have you gotten your, your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right up to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. All right, it is Eagle 1023 and uh, 969-1240 and on the World Wide Web at Eagle1023.com. Uh, and uh, talking with uh, Coach Payne from Lafayette Christian uh, 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 High School. And uh, we're uh, also uh, missing uh, Nate Shaw, uh, fearless leader, head coach, uh, and uh, an all-around cool guy. And uh, he is uh, uh, on assignment uh, today. And, uh, and, of course, I appreciate uh, Coach Payne coming out and spending time with us. I, this is the first time we've gotten to meet, and, uh, yeah. and uh, we're – I think I think we're clicking okay. We're doing a good job. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So uh, so it's smooth. Uh, you know, with uh, with you know, I know it, it was a tough loss uh, against uh, Colonial Hills, uh, but uh, but still, you've got a lot of great people that come out and and still put that super effort in there to help make the team go. Yeah, um, we talked about uh, Coleman talked about during the break. Just people to thank. Obviously, um, I think all I, I speak for all of our coaches. When first and foremost, we thank our wives. Um, I. My wife and my five-month-old have been very supportive in letting Daddy go uh, for long days on, on Fridays, and um, I, I would say the same thing for for uh, Coach Quiggle and Nearing and Coach Shaw. Um, but th- there's a lot of things to go behind the scenes. Uh, we've got a couple of freshman managers who um, have been excellent for us this year and get bossed around and barked at, uh, Ian and Colby, uh, a couple of water girls, uh, Emily and um, – and Brianna, and then uh, one of my eighth graders that I teach Bible to at LCS, uh, Luke. We call him Taz. They've been helping out. Uh, Tim, you can't say enough about having a guy like Tim Marlowe either. Uh, one of our linebackers, stepfathers, who's come in, and basically he is our functioning team physician. Um, and so to the people that don't get recognized, and, and fortunately don't have to get yelled at either, but the people that don't get recognized, we really do appreciate the effort that they put in. Uh, to support us, yeah, I tell you, it, it does take a. It takes a team behind the team to make the team go, and absolutely, and uh, it's so uh, so often that uh, those fine folks uh, don't get uh, the pat on the back backs. And I know there's still people we haven't thanked that uh, have probably done some things that yeah. uh, uh, you know you didn't know happened, and it just magically got done. And and uh, and those those people are special, and. Uh, uh, and, and appreciate that. Okay, well, you did find out Central Fellowship is in Macon, and uh, that is going to be a uh, uh, a nice little road trip, about uh, probably about an hour and a half, two hour drive to uh, to uh, Central Fellowship, and uh, and and with that, with that game in Macon, uh, it, it it's a big one. I mean, you you really I know y'all y'all know y'all can win out, y'all want to win out, 
uh, and uh, and it starts with this one in uh, preparation to get ready for this game. Yeah, um, we we need to finish well, and we we have been talking to the guys uh, about that when when we knew that things were starting to get rough. Um, how are you going to finish? How are you going to compete? And also, like, what what are we going to do to prepare for the opportunity that we very likely will get at the end of this season to continue playing? Uh, how are we going to prepare for for the competition that comes uh, in postseason play? So. Um, we, we still need the guys to focus. We still need them doing the little things and uh, to, to finish this uh, season on, an, on a positive note and to move forward into postseason. There you go. And, uh, and it all starts uh, this Friday. We're going to take another break. We'll come back and talk a little more about Lafayette Christian football as they're getting ready for uh, a big road trip to Macon against Central, uh, Central Fellowship. And uh, we'll be back after this as you're listening to Saturday Morning Quarterback right here on Eagle Sports. Hi, friends. Jess Lichter here with Key of LaGrange. We're going pink this month for breast cancer awareness, and we'll be donating a portion of our sales to the Breast Friends for Life Hope for Day campaign. So stop by and check out our selection of Kias and help support a great cause. It's fall savings times between the 16s. they got to go to make room for the 17s. You can own a 16 Kia Cadenza for as little as $23.5. And you know with prices like these are not going to last long. Come see us today or online at keyoflagrange.com to help support your local economy. Price plus tax tag and title. Start number 19215. Have you gotten your flu shot? Now is the time. Holmes Pharmacy is the place to get your flu shot. And if you have insurance, it could be free. So don't wait. Drive right to Holmes Pharmacy and get your flu shot today at Commerce Avenue in LaGrange or in Hamilton. And if your doctor feels you need a high-dose flu shot, Holmes Pharmacy has you covered. Hi, I'm Perry Prather, pharmacist at Holmes Pharmacy. So drop by Commerce Avenue in LaGrange, Georgia. We have your flu shot ready. So come see me or any of my fine staff at Holmes Pharmacy today. Introducing the most valuable provider, your nationally ranked Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center. Ranked a top 100 large community hospital by Truven Health Analytics. Named a top 100 great community hospital by Becker's Hospital Review. Rated top 100 in medical excellence and patient safety by CareChecks. Wellstar West Georgia Medical Center, award-winning health care right here in LaGrange. To learn more, visit wellstar.org slash WGMC. We believe in life well-lived. All right, welcome back here to Lafayette Christian High School football as uh, we're talking Cougar football uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, this next week as Central Fellowship is, uh, is where they're heading and uh, going on a, a nice uh, road trip to Macon, uh, Georgia. Ought to be a lot of fun, so uh, come, uh, come join us uh, for that as uh, we are, we're excited about uh, having a chance to, uh, to be, uh, uh, see Lafayette Christian football get after it again on this Friday night. Uh, I know the, uh, the you know the players that uh, that you've got uh, set up and ready to go, and uh, and and uh, I know you got some that uh, uh, are, are dinged up and banged up and everything else. Uh, but uh, uh, I know y'all going to have a, a I don't know will y'all do a light practice and and let everybody heal a little bit, or will y'all just get after it on uh, and on normal tomorrow and Monday? And uh, Monday is going to be run through and get get some of the bumps and bruises worked out. Tuesday we'll we'll get after it, let them get some game speed type hitting, and then Thursday. This other walkthrough. You've got you to balance pushing them with letting their bodies heal. And uh, so we're, we're not going to let off the gas this week, but we do have it built into our schedule where they can functionally not exacerbate any of their injuries. There you go. And, and uh, you, got, you do have to be careful because uh, uh, you need, uh, need as many people healthy as you can, but you, you don't want – if you don't give them the proper practice, they, right. they run risk of getting hurt. It's, like I right. said, it's a balance. And, uh, and so uh, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, and, uh, and, of course, uh, I hope they uh, will uh, go down there and have a good time and, uh, and, and have, a, have a good win coming up uh, this Friday. Uh, folks, if you want to know more about Lafayette Christian High School, don't forget to go to their website. And, uh, Coach Payne, I appreciate you spending time with us uh, here and, uh, uh, on, the, uh, um, on the show and uh, ready to sit there and, and, uh, and have a great uh, uh, next game. And uh, anybody, uh, uh, any last-minute uh, things that uh, – there you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, we're right on time. Okay. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, uh, I know WTRP carries your ball game. Uh, on uh, on Friday night, and uh, and I, th- I think they might even do video of that, and uh, and of course uh, you can watch uh, uh, this show and other coaches show at eagle1023.com. 
But, uh, Coach, good luck uh, this Friday night and, uh, and uh, go take it to Central Fellowship and uh, look forward to having you back uh, here at the show again next time. Yeah, we might do this again. Thank you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, there you go. Good luck to uh, the Cougars as uh, they will be traveling to uh, Macon this Friday night. Get, uh, get the family and grandma and all them together and make the trip and uh, go, go uh, uh, cheer on the uh, Cougars. This has been Saturday Morning Quarterback live right here at Kia of LaGrange on Lafayette Parkway in LaGrange. It's Eagle 1023.